like not to be dramatic or anything, but somebody needs to get me the rest of the series or I'm going to die. Hey guys, it's Jay and today I am here with a review for The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefvater. I ended up giving this book a 4.5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. I absolutely loved it so much. I do not know why I waited so long to read it. I should have listened to you all so long ago. So without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> This book follows Blue Sargent, who is surrounded by a family of psychics. The members of her family are able to communicate and see spirits, and Blue has never had this ability. She does, however, have the ability to amplify other psychic abilities. Blue has always been a bit bitter that she doesn't possess the same psychic abilities that the rest of her family does, until one day she does see a spirit, and it is for a boy named Gansey, who is destined to die in the next year. Since a very young age, Blue has been told that if she kisses her true love, he will die, and Blue has never really thought much about that little tidbit of information until she meets the Raven Boys. The Raven Boys are a group of boys, which include Gansey, Adam, Noah, and Ronan. The Raven Boys attend an academy that is an all-boys school made for the wealthy. Blue never thought that she would have anything in common with these boys until they set off on a quest to find Glendower, who is a Welsh king who apparently died in the town of Henrietta. The Legend of Glendower states that whoever finds his final resting place will be granted a favor and and Gansey is not the only one who thinks that this is worth searching for. So I definitely did not expect to like this book as much as I did. I read Maggie Stiefvater's Scorpio Races and I really didn't like it, so I didn't have very high hopes going into this book. I had heard so many things about it and usually with hyped books I end up hating them and everybody else loves them and I never see why. But with this one, I was pleasantly surprised. I found that the first half of the book, the pacing was so slow, but it made sense because like you needed to build the world and get the feelings of all the characters and the second half of the book definitely picked up so much. I was on the edge of my seat for pretty much the entire time and a couple of the times I was actually like gasping because I didn't see what came happening and I was just like, oh my god. The book was very suspenseful throughout the second half and I definitely liked the second half a lot more. I was originally very confused with the whole plot and everything that was going on with Gwendower, but then as the story progressed and unfolded, like, I was totally invested in everything. The writing was amazing and beautiful and it was so easy to, like, picture everything that was being described and the one-liners were so great in this book. It was definitely a great balance to the like creepy atmosphere that Maggie Stiefvater created in the book. I'm honestly like so invested in this story now and I need to know what happens next in the next book. Like what what is happening? I need to know about Gwendar and I need to know if the boys find him and I need to know more about the Raven Boys because I just love them so dang much. The book is definitely a very character driven book. I think that all the characters are so amazing and great. They're so unique and different from one another that their personalities really shone through. I definitely am so in love with every single Raven Boy. I just love them all so much. I don't think one or the other is my favorite. I can't decide. I loved the different perspectives in the book and how we got to hear from like every character and it was still easy to tell who was talking and when. I just love how unique all of the personalities are. I really enjoyed Blue as a main character. I think that she was so feisty and all her one-liners were so good. Like she is so funny. Gansey is like the ringleader of the Raven Boys and I cannot wait to learn more about him in the next books. I can't help but love him even when he's like being condescending like Blue keeps saying like you have to love him. You can't help it. He's just so adorable. Ronan was so misunderstood and moody and I just loved him. I love how like mean he is. Like he's not even mean. He's just like grumpy and it just made me really happy for some reason. Like he's so lovable too. The entire time I just wanted to hug Noah. He is such a little baby angel unicorn. I might have to say that Adam is like one of my favorites. It's between Adam and Ronan. But Adam is such a precious little cinnamon bun and I just want to protect him at all costs. I just want to love him. He's just so adorable and his little southern accent is so cute. I love how each character interacts with each other and how they all are just like one big happy family. I just, oh, I love them so much and I cannot wait until I get the next book so that I can read it because I just, I love this book so much already. I also really liked how there wasn't really a huge focus on romance in this book. It was more like everybody together 
if that makes sense. Like, it wasn't like, this person likes this person, and therefore this whole story is about romance. Like, I barely noticed the romance at all. There was, like, a tiny little tidbit of it sometimes. But, but like, other than that, like, mostly character-driven, which was amazing. I feel like if one book I was gonna reread, it would be this one. And if you've been on this channel for a while, you know, like, your girl does not reread books, so the fact that I actually want to reread this book is, like, a big deal. Alright guys, so that was my review for The Raven Boys by Maggie Seavarder. I need the second book, like, ASAP. I need to go find it. I might actually end up paying full price for it because I just need it in my life. I need to know what happens next to my little precious baby angel unicorn cinnamon roll. I just, ugh, I love them all so much. Let me know down below what you thought of The Raven Boys. I'm sure you've read them. Everybody has read them, except for me, apparently. I'm always late to the party, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye! Yeah.